Okay, so now we're going to go do question number nine in topic set seven. This is something to do with the Bohr model of the hydrogen atom. Okay, and so what it says here is that you have a spectral line in the Balmer series for hydrogen at 397 nanometer. And the question is, what's the electronic transition? So a quick reminder of the Bohr model, what it looks like is you have a nucleus in the middle, and then you have these orbits where the electrons could be located around the nucleus, right? So that's what the Bohr model is. And in this case, we were told that there is some type of transition that occurs for an electron from some level to another level. I don't know exactly what the two levels are, but I know that when this happens, light is going to be emitted and that light will have certain wavelength associated with it. And the wavelength happens to be 397 in this case. Okay, so the question is, what is the transition that occurs? What is the initial orbit? And what's the final orbit? The initial orbit we call ni, the final orbit we give the symbol nf. When the electron falls from a higher to a lower orbit from ni to nf, at the same time that energy is going to be used to emit a photon, so energy emitted as photon. Okay, and the Bohr equation itself allows you to calculate the energy of the electron that falls from Ni to Nf. And remember that that's given as this quantity delta E, and that equation is negative alpha constant times 1 over n final squared minus 1 over n initial squared. So that is the energy of the electron. The energy of the photon that's emitted, of course, can be calculated by the standard h nu or hc over lambda in this case, since we have wavelength. So to figure out the transition, first we need to know the energy, and then and afterwards, we need to know one of these other numbers right here. Now, the numbers come about from the question. One of the clues here is this word Balmer. So the Balmer series, if you remember for hydrogen, is a series where all the wavelengths that come out are in the visible range. And we said that the only time that would happen is if the n final is equal to 2. So in other words, that really gives you a clue on one of the numbers here, which is the n final. So that means we just need to calculate the n initial. So let's do the calculation. The first thing we're going to do is just calculate what that energy of the photon that's being emitted. And we'll do our Planck's constant times speed of light. And then over the wavelength itself, which is 397 nanometer, which we can convert to meter using the appropriate exponent. That gives us 5.007 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Now, the energy comes from the electron. So the electron, as it falls from the higher to the lower orbit, emits, so it has to have a negative in front of it, emits 5.007. 0.07 times 10 to the minus 19 joules of energy. But we know that that's also equal to negative of this constant, which we call the Rydberg constant. And that has a value of 2.178 times 10 to the minus 18 joules. 1 over n final, which we can just change immediately now that we know that it's a Balmer series to 2. So 2 squared minus 1 over n initial squared. That's the part that we don't know. Then you can do a little algebra here. You can divide both sides by the Rydberg constant. So now you have on the left left side minus 5.07 times 10 to the minus 19 joules over minus 2.178 times 10 to the minus 18 joules. That's going to be equal to 1 over 4 minus 1 over ni squared. Okay? This can be calculated on the side and that should give you 0.22989. So we got 0.22989 equals a quarter minus 1 over ni squared. We do a little algebra to isolate the ni squared on one side and this becomes quarter minus 0.22989 which ends up being 0 0.0201. Now, if that's 1 over ni square, ni square would then be 49.73. Then to get ni, we just need to take the square root of this number, and that would give us 7.05. Remember, n has to be a whole number, so the closest whole number would be 7. And so that would be the initial orbit. So in this case, we have the electron falling from orbit number 7 to orbit number 2.